What's up guys? This we got a lot of good feedback for the Rubik's Cube videos and a lot of subscribers. So I thought it'd be appropriate to make another one with this 2x2. Two two. Uh, this one I ordered from Amazon, it was like three bucks or so. But I'll put the instruction and tutorials on the website, same as the Rubik's Cube videos. Make sure you visit there and join the email list and I'll be just giving out free prizes such as this or a nicer one but comment below what kind of products you like and what tutorials I should do but let's get started so 2x2 two two is pretty similar let me just mix this up so you guys don't think that I'm just like just make this random you know so this is fairly simple Sim more simple than the 3x3 three three. but the first step is very similar to the 3x3 three three, in that you want to get one of the faces the same color but same as how you have to get the ease to match up on the 3x3 three three, you have to do the same so just randomize it I mean we can start with the blue or let's start with the white the white's the go-to right so you have this one corner white cube and right now it doesn't really matter I guess which one you start with but you got to recognize that this this white piece has to match up with this white piece that's red on this side because this is the red side you got to match up so let's look at where we're at All right here we're trying to get this cube we're trying so we're trying to get this right here to appear so the moves are very similar to the 3x3 so you want to just turn this down right face down and then bring it over because when you do that here, it's in the bottom right when you put this down this is going to the back side but you brought it up right so just bring it to where you can see it and move it back up you don't have to but that's for the other ones to stay in place and then the sweet spot is here and here again just like the 3x3 three three. so we want to bring this we want to put this over to the sweet spot right down and then put it back down up. and I'll include the uh, movements with you but I mean the first face uh, there's no real algorithm so you're gonna just have to see how I place these so like I said before the white is matching with the reds so you know these are in a good spot so this white corner has to match a green uh, front face right here. So let's look for that. It's right here, right? Nope, right here. So we want to get this right here. So it's in the right area. So similar to like we did before, uh, we want to bring this down and just move it to the side so that we can uh, bring it back up. And then just like before, that spot is you want to put it back in that spot where you can bring it up to the back so yeah this can get confusing but we're looking for the white and green so move the white and green spot directly under where it's supposed to be right here and when you bring it down it brings it to the back and then just bring it to the, where you can see it bring the piece back up so you don't mess what you have currently and then put it to a sweet spot this is a sweet spot, this is a sweet spot. You can get this piece to a sweet spot by putting it to the right, and down, right, bam. Right, now it's green, green, red, red. Now we just have to get the last one. Not too hard, right? And then while we are moving this, this came back up here, so it's easy. Just turn it around so you can put it to a sweet spot. In this case, we can put it right here. Remember the sweet spots are again, if you're trying to get it here, it's gonna be this corner. You need the white to be in this or right here. In this case, you just bring it down, and then over, and bam. Got the completed white side. Okay, we got the first step completed. And just like the 3x3, three three, you want to now create the yellow side. After you complete this, you want to complete the top side. But this is where it gets a little more complicated than 3x3 three three because there are 8 possibilities. So the solution gives you 8 possibilities that 
of the yellows. So I'm going to put a picture right here so that you can see all the possibilities. But the algorithm is the same for all, but you just have to match the right ones. So when there are two, two yellow faces, like in this case, they're either going to have it like this right in front of you when it's above, or you have to put, or it's another possibility where it's going to be, you're going to look at it like this, and the yellows are going to be right here and right here. But in this case, it doesn't matter which one, just uh, match up the possibilities that I show you and do the same algorithms. But in this case, like I said, this is the two on top with the two facing you. And you have to have it in that orientation of the possibilities. But, so, but here we go. You want to do a right inverse, a up inverse, a front inverse, a, a upturn, a front, and a right. Wow, and in this case, we got the yellow, the yellow completed side, right, with the white. But in a lot of cases, sometimes you have to do it, I think, even up to three times. Um, but you just have to get it into the orientation of the possibilities, the eight of them. Or, I mean, the eighth one is also considered you having it completed when you do the white side. So I guess there's seven that you need to memorize. But it's not too hard because it's either going to be blank, one in the corner. If there's one, you just put it in the corner. Um, and then there's two, the two that I showed you about, and then two diagonal ones. So if there's just two that are diagonal, you just put it in this orientation. But let's go to the last step. Yeah, I, I didn't tell you it correctly, but I guess there are five, a possibility of five times that you have to do it. But just keep doing it until you get this this kind of layout and you'll be good don't get frustrated so the last step you have to look at this cube and basically see which corners that you need to replace but in most cases there are going to be uh, I'm not sure if it's all cases but there are two that are going to be right so you basically have to switch these two if you can see these are all right in the right places, and you just have to switch these two. But I mean, I'll do it again just so we can do, uh, see it at the end. But here we go. You're gonna do a left left face, a front inverse, a left face, back back, a left inverse, a front, a left back back again and then if you see it the white's there so you just go down twice on the left and then it's basically done bam see how we did it not too hard right I hope this video is like less than eight minutes or so but we'll basically do it again let me just mix this up so that I'm not like trying to trick you guys or anything and this is actually pretty difficult without having an algorithm I thought it would uh actually be solvable without anything but it gets a little complicated and if you have any tricks let's uh, build a community so that we can uh, help each other out and some tips and a lot of you guys are pretty cool in the comment section and I'm about to give a prize for one of these um, we got about I got collected around 20 emails so if you guys keep doing it I mean the more people that join the more prizes that I can give out I couldn't give out any prizes because not enough people uh, joined the website and just an interest in get, getting prizes. But if you guys keep sharing, I'll give out more free stuff. So let's try again. Let's go for the white side. So these two are wrong, right? And I don't think it matters which, I guess you can't really tell which side has the right color. But let's just say this is the right one and let's move this. So let's just look for the green white, the white with the green side. So it's right here. So like I said, put in the sweet spot. You can just move it right here and put it in the sweet spot because we're trying to get it here. Down, bam. All right, now that this is over here in orange, it's gonna be right here, right? White and orange. So let's just put it to the sweet spot. We want it here. 
So if you put it this orientation, so this spot is here, all right. And then this one's right here. Go to the sweet spot. It was already in the sweet spot. So down, left, right. So let's look at the possibilities again. Okay. Oh wow. It's the same one. That's crazy. But it doesn't matter. Two on top. Two. Maybe this won't give us another one so you can see some other possibilities on video. We're going to do a right inverse, up inverse, front inverse, up turn, front, right. And never mind, you got it. In this case, it did the two again. So you just need to do this algorithm for all of them uh, with the two in the back if you're trying to switch these two corners. So it's left, front face inverse, left face, back twice, left inverse, front face, left turn, back twice, left, left. And then if you just switch, bam, we have that. So if you have any questions or want me to make another video showing you the different possibilities, I will. But I'll give you all the possibilities in a picture, so you'll be good. Alright, if you liked it, make sure you like the video. Thanks.